when discussing the history of Hong Kong cinema, there indeed are some thought-provoking events and coincidences. The Shaw Brothers and Cathay organization were the two major players in the Hong Kong film industry at the time, and their competition was extremely fierce. Luck Wing Chung, one of the founders of Cathay, his unexpected death dealt a huge blow to the company. If Luck Wing Chung had not encountered the plane crash, his collaboration with Li Han Siang could indeed have posed a serious threat to Shaw Brothers. However, history has no what ifs, and Luck Wing Chung's death left Cathay without a strong leader, which was undoubtedly a significant advantage for Shaw Brothers. As for Bruce Lee, his rise changed the landscape of Hong Kong and even world cinema. In the few films he made for Golden Harvest, Bruce Lee demonstrated astonishing box office appeal and influence. If Bruce Lee had not died young and continued to make more films for Golden Harvest, it is indeed possible that Golden Harvest could have further consolidated its leadership in the film market, even surpassing Shaw Brothers. Regarding whether Shaw Brothers were just lucky or skillful, it's a complex issue. On one hand, the Shaw Brothers did have excellent business acumen and film production capabilities, and their success was not accidental. On the other hand, the unexpected deaths of some key figures did provide opportunities for the development of Shaw Brothers. However, attributing these events to the tactics of Shaw Brothers might be overly conspiratorial and lack solid evidence. In summary, these events in the history of Hong Kong cinema are indeed thought-provoking, but we should view history objectively and avoid falling into baseless speculation and conspiracy theories. The success of the Shaw Brothers and the rise of Golden Harvest are both important components of the Golden Age of Hong Kong cinema, and their achievements and contributions deserve respect and commemoration.